Hey everyone, this is Catherine from Peach Art Therapy. I'm bringing you today's Monday Minute. We are going to be doing everything feelings today. Uh, this project that I have set up for you to see is a really, really common practice that happens here in the office with a, with a client um, of any age. This is a really great expressive process. You as the parent or you as the child or you as the young adult, older adult can do to get out whatever needs to be released. We are in a very confusing time right now. Do we go out? Do we stay in? How close do we get with people? Do we invite people over? Do we let kids play with each other? Do we go to the pool? There's a lot of confusing questions happening and it gets burdensome and heavy. So this is a really great way to just release whatever feeling you may need to release and maybe you're confused about what you're feeling. Also a great option for this project to not decide how you feel, create, and then see what it tells you. Really, really great practice for an art therapy process. It can be art as therapy with the process of just painting or creating. And then the, the therapy piece is the part where you spend time with it. You wanna understand it. You wanna look and see what is this that it's telling me that I'm feeling? I do feel better seeing and knowing that I can put a name to it. And we call this name it to tame it. <laughs> it's something many of you parents have probably heard about from us. It's, it's figuring out what it is so that then you can identify it and then you can gather more control over it. So this is a practice for the whole family, for the parent, for the child, for the teen, anyone who wants to jump in and try this out. So today I'll be using paint and paint brushes, possibly a palette knife. I've gathered a few things up to do this um, project, but I wanted to run through a couple other more unique ways that you can go about expressing an emotion. So I um, gathered up a few things you can find. Maybe you have a dropper around the house for whatever reason. Great way to mix paint with water, pull some paint up into the dropper and then drip it on. Also have little cups. This could be like a mini paint pour. Put some cup in there, put a flow medium, or maybe just mix it with water again. Pour it on there, let it kind of run, see what happens. Um, a spray bottle, filling this again with some water and some paint, or a different type of uh, liquid. That some, I actually had somebody recently use oil. And that's kind of neat, like a canola oil, I think. Um, so the oil with the paint mix is just like really weird experience to happen spray it on there see what happens um rollers you can get these pretty cheap at michael's um they can be pretty flimsy but uh great for just getting some expression out um i also may be using a palette knife these things can be pretty accessible and get to get at michael's um and just really feels great to spread the paint in your classic paintbrush and then also always a really great idea is to fill some balloons up with water and paint and just throw them. <laughs> Get those splatters out there and experience that joy of moving your body in that way to create a really dynamic and abstract emotional art piece. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy my time lapse of my feeling expression. masterpieces is that the key to art therapy is that it's not always about the result, it's about the process. So enjoy your art making journey, let it be a true expression of how you feel, and let it be exactly what it is. Your, your feeling through art, through paint, through drawing, and that's all. It's not about the beauty of it, it's about the beauty of the expression and the journey. Much love.